Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Monday. May 23rd, 2022, and as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day, commit this day to Him, use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord, and use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're out and about today, take some time to give God praise, because He is worthy of our praise, He is worthy of our worship, He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of James, chapter number 1, and it's verses 13 through 15. Scripture says, Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin... When it is finished, bringeth forth death. Friends, we spent last week looking at the topic of trials. And of course, as I always do, I encourage you to go back and and listen to those episodes last week and see what you can learn about trials because trials are a benefit to our faith. This week, we're going to talk about temptation. And temptation is the opposite. Temptation isn't beneficial to our faith. Temptations are are things that could be detrimental to our faith. And this week, uh, we're going to look at some real-life examples of people who have been tempted and how they came out of those temptations. But for today, let's talk about exactly what temptation is. James says here in verse 13, Let no man say when he is tempted that I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. God's not the one that's tempting you. Let's make that perfectly clear. When you're going through times of temptation, it is not God's fault. It's your fault, actually, and my fault when we go through those times of trial. Why is that? Verse number 14 says, Every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. We are tempted when we are drawn away from our own lust, the things that we desire. Well, I used this illustration when I preached a message a couple years ago at church on this topic. I used this illustration that at the time I was getting ready to go on a cruise. And and for those of you that have cruised, you know that there's a lot of food on board. And I'm a big guy, and I like to eat. So I was on a diet prior to my cruise because I figured most people put on about five pounds of extra weight when they take a cruise. And I thought, well, if I can lose five or ten pounds then put five pounds back on, I'll still be in the plus side. So that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to lose weight. And let's say I had got a desire for a chocolate cupcake. I was walking around Walmart or whatever and saw a cupcake. And I knew that cupcake would be detrimental to my my diet. But I thought about that and thought about that as I was in the store and finally went and bought it and ate the cupcake. And yes, it was good. But let's put that as an illustration into how we're this this pattern of, of temptation that we see here. He says, Every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed that cupcake enticed me. I knew it would be good. It looked good. I knew it had to be good. Then when I finally took that cupcake, that is is the next step, which we find in verse fifteen. Then when lust has conceived, it bringeth forth sin. Sin is when I grab the cupcake. And I take my first big bite of that cupcake. And next thing you know, that cupcake is consumed. That's the third part of our temptation here in verse 15. And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. The death of my diet in that case. But friends, temptation is out there that's going to be detrimental to our faith, it could could cost us our faith. And James is trying to teach us here to make sure we understand the pattern that temptation is going to take, and it comes in the same way. We're drawn away of our own lust and enticed. 
The devil knows what things you desire. He knows what to do to cause you to trip you up. He knows your fears. He knows you better than probably any any person on earth does. And the devil's going to do what he can do to knock you off track and to get you away from your relationship with God. But friends, remember, write down, if you, if you journal, write down these verses here in your journal. Verses 14 and 15 of James chapter 1, because that gives us the steps to temptation. We need to make sure we don't fall into them. We are drawn away of our own lust and enticed. Right there is where it starts. And we'll be referencing back to these couple verses the rest of the week as we start taking a look at some real life examples. But for you, what are some temptations that you've fallen into recently? Think about it. What are things that caused you to stumble recently? What are some things that, that caused you to sin? Recently, temptations you gave in to. This isn't between me and you. It's between you and God. And let him know. And confess those sins and get things made right with God. Don't forget to share this episode with with somebody. And if you like what you hear, go on on Google Podcasts or Apple Podcasts or iHeartRadio, Stitcher, anywhere you get your podcasts from. Make sure you subscribe to here. Uh, Because if you rely on getting this episode off of Facebook every morning, uh, it's there when I remember to put it up. And I know there was a day last week that I forgot to put out the broadcast. So it's better to to subscribe, whether it's off of Spreaker or iTunes, Google Podcasts, coming soon to Amazon and um, Audible. Uh, Right now on iHeartRadio, Stitcher, and there's a number of other ones out there. But subscribe, like, comment, and share. All right. Think about that. Think about temptations and and what things cause you to fail as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's Word and allow God's Word to get into you. And then share that Word with someone today. Have a blessed day. (laughs) 